Hi, this is Divya Pandit, your tarot card reader, spiritual healer and life coach. So here I am with another video, a special one. Not that it was in demand, but this was something that I wanted to make. Well, this video is about dreams. So I am a shamanic healer and uh, I do a lot of uh, shaman healings for my clients. Also, I have learned a lot, of, a lot about shamanism. And uh, I just, you know, basically connect very well to shamanism and dreams is a part of shamanism. So there are many myths and misunderstanding about shamanism. I see on YouTube videos and everywhere people have been putting up a lot of, I will call it nonsense. Because shamanism is one thing that is the purest form of spirituality, that is what I feel. Shamanism can be in any part of our journey right so now i am talking about dreams because dreams is a part of shamanism being a dream healer a shamanic healer i have ex had beautiful experiences with my own dreams and with healing other people's dreams also it is actually very wonderful so it is very strange to hear i mean i think you must have not heard a lot about dream healer where I will actually, uh, you know, interpret your dreams and go into your dreams and give a healing. We can experience a lot of trauma, tra trauma, we can experience a lot of fears, nightmares in our dreams and we don't know what to do about it. So that is when you come to a dream healer. Okay. So now I want to talk about dreams. What are dreams? Well, it is very well said, when you can't dream it, you can't have it. Dreams are very important part of our culture and our own unconscious mind. Dream culture is around the world. Every culture you will feel somebody has to say something about a dream or you know the way people dream that is very very connected to a lot of spiritual sciences. There are mostly common questions between my clients. They will call me and they ask me you know this morning I had this dream. this. Suddenly I was sleeping and this thing came to me. There are many type of dreams. And there are some people who will also tell you that I don't dream. I don't know where. When I sleep, I sleep. Everybody dreams. Everyone dreams in this world. The difference is that you. some people remember their dreams. Some people don't remember their dreams. The people who don't remember their dreams will always say I don't dream. If you don't dream... How will you move forward in your life? How will you manifest? Your unconscious level always tells you something or the other, some story it has to tell you. Something that is stuck inside you, your fears, your judgment, all other thoughts, feelings and emotions come out to you in your life as dreams. So there are some times, there are few people, rather many people I will say, who are very, very intuitive very very uh, you know they are clairvoyants like me so these people will have predictive dreams dreams which will predict the future or predict what is going to happen well when you are more close and more in touch with your own imagination you will dream more and the more you imagine the more you manifest remember this sometimes we have you know, uh, certain kind of dreams that we don't understand. We don't. I will tell you some few common 10 dreams. 10 dreams I am taking up today, which are very, very common. So I went around asking people, my clients, my students, that what kind of dreams do you have? Because I wanted to make this video. And uh, I wanted to know that what are the common dreams people have? So dream means that you need to reclaim your power and start working on those aspects of your life which you are reoccurring, com which is reoccurring, coming in, uh, into your focus in your dreams. Every time you repeatedly dream something, that means there is something that your unconscious mind is reminding you of and you are not paying attention. Sometimes we, you know, live in denial. We don't want to acknowledge a lot of things. So it comes in form of dream to us. 
So this common dreams that I am talking about which I asked people and I noted down are the 10 dreams which commonly people have. So I will discuss them and tell you why do you dream the dream that you have. Okay? So the first dream I am going to take up is teeth falling. Teeth falling is a very common dream that people have. In fact, I will say many of them come keep calling me and asking me, I had, I had a dream of teeth falling, I had a dream. Teeth falling dream is normally, uh, if, if it comes to you reoccurring every time, it normally means insecurity. It means that you are being insecure about a certain issue in your life or you need to deal with your insecurity because of your insecurity you are facing certain kind of issues in your life. Teeth falling normally is not considered as a good dream according to our culture, our ancestors, our family will you know keep telling you teeth because see everything that has been made into a spiritual aspect is because they wanted to warn you against something. Here, teeth falling if it's reoccurring then you go inwardly and you ask yourself what am i being insecure about you will get your answer and then you will be able to deal with your dream and the next time what you dream you will be surprised the second dream that i will talk about is fear of falling fear of falling is a very strong thought in a lot of people there are many people who will you know do well in life start earning do everything and suddenly they are they will have a fall in life suddenly they will lose their money they will lose their house they will lose their relationship it will happen overnight and suddenly this dream of fear of falling you must have seen there are many people who are in the dream standing on a cliff and suddenly they fall and then you feel the jerk in your uh, body that sensation in your body me as a child in fact had that dream reoccurring every every two three days I'll tell you why because as a child I was a very good speaker I used to give a lot of speeches in school debates I took part in everything and after taking part I used to be the best one I used to get the first prize I was very popular in school people used to literally call me Indira Gandhi and you know what a speech she said and this and that but there was a sense of insecurity there that what if someday I don't say the speech the way I say the speech what if something really goes wrong people really like me that sense of insecurity towards the attention I was getting at that time what if I lose that attention? So where was it coming from? It was coming from a very deep rooted uh, thought, uh, you know, of my mother. Suddenly people do well and then this insecurity arises that what if I lose everything? So fear of falling is a very common thought that people have which comes in a form of a dream. And then you manifest it in your life you actually manifest it in your life and suddenly what will happen you'll have a downfall in life so these are the few dreams that you know it comes from your unconscious level and they become such strong thoughts that this make a form and uh, you know you start seeing th things in met metaphors and a weird way of seeing the dreams in a very weird way you'll imagine things it's a dream world anything can happen it's your imagination the third dream I will talk about is car journey car journey is also very common and the car journey means there are many times you're sitting in the car you're driving the car on a road and you're just going on and going on and going on and driving and driving sometimes people will say I couldn't see anything I was driving in the dark Sometimes people will say, I had said, I had somebody next to me. You know, there are so many uh, ways of interpreting this car journey dream. Different, different people will say different, different thing. Basically, journey is the journey of your life. 
and you don't know where you are going. You feel my life is going on and on and on without any focus or destination. Some people will say that my car journey was so much in the dark that I couldn't see anything in the front. That is when you feel that you have no uh, clarity in life, you don't know where you are going. You are a very confused person. The car journey dream is very, very common, very, very common between people who have, you know, uh, who don't know what is going to happen next in their life. So the fourth dream, very common dream is the snake. Snake dream is very common, it is normally considered, uh, you know, as a pitridosh or ancestral problem normally considered that or snakes also can be demons, demons of the past which is very common, very commonly connected rather very strongly connected to again what I was talking about ancestral problem that is called Pitradosh. And snake can come as those demons which you do not want to face. So how does a snake live? Snake lives below the surface, it goes you know between the stones and the sand and it you know tries to hide and go inside, right? When the snake wants, where does the snake live? In a hole, basically inside below the earth, right? So that is exactly what the dream means. Look into the depth of the situation. Is there something hidden? Is there something that you are not acknowledging about yourself? Maybe your own sexuality, maybe your own relationship, maybe the problem with the situation about money in life. Some people think everything is fine, everything is fine, but actually nothing is fine. So the snake dream. Snake always signifies those demons which you do not want to face in life. Ancestral problem, yes, could be that this behavior could come from your ancestors. And those ancestors are trying to, in the form of snake, remind you of solving, you know, that you have not been acknowledging the problems. That is what they do, that is their job is, elders do come and remind us, right? They will tell you to repair and heal your problems. That is why the, uh, these things are there in the Kundli, like Pitra Dosh and Kal Sarptosh. That is why we go ahead and get the pujas done, but we actually do not realize the, the puja is not the only th way to you know uh, repair a problem. We can also do it by our thoughts, feelings and emotions. We can train our mind to face our demons, see the deeper problem within us and solve it. So if it is at a genetic level, at a soul level, anyways it will get solved by changing your thoughts. Right? So the next dream I will talk about which is the fifth dream that is being naked in public. I think many people uh, dream that and uh, it is a very common dream. It is related to your own self worth and self esteem. It is basically fear of being exposed. Fear of being exposed like how? Your own true nature. Maybe. This is a reminder that you are wearing a mask, you are not showing your, your true self to people. When you show your true self to people, you will stop having this dream. You fear the way you are, you will not be accepted. There is a very big fear. So that is why when you dream of being naked, you fear that people have seen the true self. Now what will I do? Now what will happen? The truth has been revealed. Or maybe the other reason could be that you were lying about something to yourself and to others that has been revealed. So go within and ask yourself. The sixth dream I will talk about is death. It is a very commonly seen death. See sometimes there are predictive dreams. I am not saying every dream comes, comes out of your unconscious level. It is about you. But sometimes we see predictive dreams also. 
there was a dream which I had, I will talk about me personally, which I dreamt about my mother way before she passed away. And uh, that was not a dream that I will ever forget in my life. It was not exactly death of my mother, but something symbolized to actually show me that this day is going to come very soon. So death also means death, death. If you are an intuitive person, if you are a clairvoyant, you could have predictive dreams about others, but mostly death dreams always means change, always means end of a cycle, it always means something new is going to start and something old has over. 90 percent time it means something is over and something new is going to start unless you are a person who sees predictive dreams unless unless that is so please don't start uh, thinking that somebody is going to die after seeing a death dream because uh, just because i have said it you have to be that strong uh, you know person and that intuitive person to dream such a dream Drowning, the seventh one. Drowning is another very common dream. People feel with their drowning because they drown in their own emotions. They do not know whether they can handle the situation or no, they feel suffocated. So, I am drowning in my own depression and emotions every day. That is why I will get that dream. I am not able to come out of the situation. I am drowning, I am giving up. Drowning dream is commonly seen by such people. Okay. The eighth dream I will talk about is the exam fear. Exam fear is being tested. So, every time I am tested by my parents or every time I am expected to do certain things in my life by my parents, my friends, my wife, my husband, it could be somebody in the office, your boss, I will always get a dream that I am not studied for the exam or I have reached late for the exam or I am running and the school door closes and I do not know what to do, I have an exam today, things like that. So whenever you are put to test in life, whenever you have been asked or expected to do something in life, you will get this dream. The ninth dream is being chased. So, one lady used to get a dream of a giant, you know, huge spider running after her every time and she did not know what to do. That spider, when I asked her, when I did dream, dream incubation and I asked her what does what is she running from what is her fears so she felt the her life is like a huge spider where she doesn't know where to run her problems were all stored in that image of a spider i am being chased something something i am running away from something what am i running away from ask yourself so, it takes a form of maybe a spider, a lizard or maybe it will take form of anything that you fear, right. So, the tenth um, dream I will talk about is flying, the last one. Flying means uh, basically when you feel unbalanced in your life, the balance of your life is not there, where you do not feel grounded and you are, you are always craving for freedom that is where you dream of flying there is no control in your life that is where you dream of flying flying dream is very common with people who are you know um, not have grounded themselves first and also people who are emotionally imbalanced they don't know how and what to do with their emotional self because of their relationships say money relation and th reasons could be any so now all these dreams that I have interpreted for you right now, what are you going to do about it? 
if you keep getting reoccurring dreams and you don't know where it's coming from it sometimes becomes very when you get up in the morning and you're dreaming these some people even even will complain of feeling very tired you know after dreaming a long dream and these dreams are reoccurring i don't know what to do so what you will do is make a dream journal you will take a book and a pen every day if you're dreaming every day if you're dreaming every second day you will st start writing down all your dreams and then when you start writing down your dreams after a week or two you're going to sit with the book and read all your dreams and connect the dots you will have your answer and after that your dreams will be different more pleasant and more positive this is one way to deal with your dreams but one thing i will say there are people who are even seeing predictive dreams i'll give you my example there are many people rather who see predictive dreams i give you my example where i was sleeping one day and i suddenly saw a lady it was in a dream okay and uh, she came and she said i will take your son away so i got absolutely alert and i cut my son and i told her if you touch him and you see it was all in my dream so she laughed and she mentioned her name which i am not going to mention on this video because that person is actually there and uh, um and she disappeared and i got up and i wondered why would why would anybody come and try to catch my son and then say her name and disappear definitely an entity i thought so the same day i was going for a meeting i reached the meeting and uh, i you introduce yourself right so i said i'm divya pandit and the name that lady told me i was shocked it was the same name the name that came to me in the dream my son was only there only to show rather to grab my attention she thought if i don't uh, to grab her attention i need to make her son as a bait she actually didn't come for her for my son she came for me and she wanted to convey a message to me so that she knew that i am going to have this meeting today and that in that meeting i will be meeting that person and i will i should be knowing that you know i should be conveying this to her so there was something about that lady's son something about an ancestor in their family which she wanted me to convey to that lady to whom i was going to meet because she was not actually going you know was not able to directly go into her dreams maybe so she came to me so that was something that you know happened to me even before i learned uh this dream workshop shamanic work workshop became a dream healer so these are the ways uh intuitive people uh get predictive dreams get message in messages in their dream so there out there there must be so many of you who must be doing that so start writing writing is one best way to actually connect the dots and you will know as to how to deal with that after that so this was my one small video on dream i hope you all liked it enjoyed it and uh, i'm sure uh, you all will you all will be able to handle and handle your dreams now and all i will say is dream more dream a lot because dreams actually manifest because of your own positive thinking and you know uh, be more intuitive in in life so that the more intuitive you are the more you are in touch with your imagination the more your dreams will come true that's all for today please subscribe my channel like my facebook page my instagram and call me only for personal paid appointments that's all for today goodbye god bless